Shalom. On the beginning of this lesson, I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. And salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And you Jakes, man, you know, you're going to learn, man, you know. This lesson is going to be focused on uh, those shootings or that shooting that happened in uh, Jacksonville, Florida, all right? And uh, a video I seen, uh, the community was locking hands, <laughs> was locking hands and, um, and uh, having a, a prayer vigil. Right? Now, all those things are, are, are not what's going to be for your comfort. It's not going to be for your relief, man. Our relief lies in the words of Yahweh Bashar Shah. Our comfort lies in the word of the Lord, man. All right? And since we are comforted, we have hope. But see, Jake, Jake now was uh, all in an uproar, happy by the fucking a white folding chair. And then you had Esau come in with his weapon. Which is the AR, all right? Which is the, the Glock 9 he stepped in there with, okay? Which is what? His blessing, man, okay? So this is Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 1. Again, us knowing this truth, knowing this, this is not a perpetual state, we now have hope, okay? Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. So I return and consider all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold the tears of such as were oppressed. Right. Who are oppressed? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? You're oppressed through financial means. All right? You, you're, you're oppressed through through the uh, food that they give you, through the mindset that they, they, they push forth to you through through movies, through music, right? Through, through the sports, giving you a that a so-called avenue of relief but it's not really relief man it's, it's just another form of oppression right it says and they had no comforter and on the side of their oppressors there was power see that esau is in the power seat right now but things are turning around it says and on the side of their oppressors there was power but they had no comforter you see that our people have no comfort, man. Right? Let's play a couple videos. Don't miss the Labor Day sale at Beds Express. Save up to $1,000. Every mattress is on sale. It all happened at a Dollar General around one this afternoon. Police say the shooter left three different manifestos detailing his hate toward black people. Reports say the gunman then barricaded himself inside the shop and killed three victims, all of them black, before turning the gun on himself. Portions of these manifestos detail the shooter's disgusting ide ideology of hate. Plainly put, this shooting was racially motivated and he hated black people. I want to be very clear that there is absolutely no evidence that the shooter is part of any large group. We know that he acted completely alone. We've learned no one else was hurt. The name of the shooter has not been released just yet. We'll follow this story. We'll bring you updates as it become available. Right now, deputies are investigating what the sheriff says is a racially motivated shooting at a Dollar General in Jacksonville. Officials say three people and the shooter are dead. Just hours ago during a press conference, Jacksonville's sheriff said the shooter, who was a white male in his 20s, traveled from Clay County armed with a Glock and an AR-15 style rifle, one of which had a swastika carved into it. They say the shooter left multiple manifestos detailing his hatred for black people and saying he intentionally set out to shoot them. The three people killed in today's shooting were all black. We must do everything that we can we must do everything that we can to dissuade this type of hate. This shooting falls exactly five years after a gunman opened fire on a video game tournament, killing two before taking his own life. In fact, deputies say the person in today's shooting was aware of.
We begin with breaking news in Jacksonville, Florida, where there are multiple fatalities following a standoff between a gunman and police at a Dollar General store. CBS's Michael George is tracking developments. Michael. Scott, good evening. Law enforcement officials say the shooter is a white male in his 20s who was motivated by hate. All three victims in this shooting were black. The shooting happened at a Dollar General store in the northwest part of the city in the middle of the day. Jacksonville authorities say the suspect killed two males and one female before turning the gun on himself. Plainly put, this shooting was racially motivated and he hated black people. The sheriff says the shooter put on a mask and tactical vest in the parking lot. The weapons that the shooter used today are a Glock and an AR-15 style rifle. He left behind multiple messages, which authorities say amounted to an ideology of hate. It's just something that should not and must not continue to happen in our community. This comes in the midst of a weekend wave of gun violence. Today in Boston, at least seven people were shot during the city's annual Caribbean carnival. Two suspects have been arrested. What is going on? In Oklahoma last night, players and fans rushed for cover when shots were fired at a high school football game. Oh my goodness. A 16-year-old boy was killed. No suspects arrested. And in Chicago, two women were shot and wounded in the stands at a White Sox game last night. And back to that unfolding situation in Jacksonville. The FBI is investigating it as a hate crime, and a federal civil rights investigation is also underway. Scott? All right, Michael George, thank you. All right, you see, on the side of the oppressor is power, man. Okay? Well, he was able to... Uh, to go inside your store here, you ain't safe at the fucking Dollar General anymore. But our people are, are, are so gone in the mind that they believe they can lock hands and march and everything will be okay. No, man, it's not going to be okay. It's going to continue to get worse until you turn back to your power. Let's read this again, Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. So I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comfort. Yeah, they don't have this truth, man. We are comfort through the through the scriptures, man, which which, uh, which uh, turns into hope, knowing that this is not the end all be all. It says, and on the side of the oppressors, there was power, but they had no comforter. But guess what? The living have a comforter, man. All right, it's a scripture to say the living will lay this to his heart. Right, it's also it says um, the living has hope. Let me see if I can find that. I want to say it's in Ecclesiastes also. Let's see. Yeah, man. Um. Damn. Mm, what is it? Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> so lucky. Ecclesiastes 9 and 4. It says, for, for to him that is joined to all the living. Who are the living? The ones who have been quickened with this spirit. All right, who, who know the report, who understand the report, right? Those are the ones who live, and everybody else is dead. Remember, scripture tell you that uh, he that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You see, it says, For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. See that? For a living dog, and that's the state we're in, we're in a, a, a lower state, man. All right, we have no power in our hand. It says for a living dog is better than a dead lion. So Jake, now gonna, uh, and I've already seen TikToks and shit. Jake talking about goddamn getting back at Esau, but his blessing was the sword, man. So you, you gonna roar like a lion and your ass gonna be fucking dead, man. You see? Why? Because you don't have hope in the things you're supposed to have hope in. Right? You don't have the comfort of the scriptures, man. You see? This is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14, 
And verse 2. Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him. Yeah, we know we're at a lower state, man. We know we constantly go off, right? And, and uh, this truth can, can wear on you, man. <laughs> and you see all the oppression that is done under the sun and you have no power. Or, you, or the scripture say, wait upon me until I rise up to the prey. It says, blessed is, is he whose conscience have not condemned him and who is not falling from his hope in the Lord. See that? And Lord willing, we don't fall from our hope in the Lord, man. All right? The, the uh, sins we commit, we hope that the Lord uh, forgive us of those things. Right? And, and seeing the things that are happening on the planet Earth, we understand that it's all a uh, means to the end. Right? These things have to occur for for the clashes of the uh of the race wars, man. For the for the clashes of the um of the uh <clears throat> class wars, you know? So those things have to come to pass. See that? This is the book of Psalms, chapter one thirty and verse five. I will wait for the Lord, Yahweh Bahashal Shah. My soul doeth wait. In his word do I hope. See that? In his word do I hope. See? So us getting the report, all right, through the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, matter of fact. Let's go get that. Let's see, two-thirds can't receive the Holy Spirit, man, which gives us comfort. Okay? Yeah, St. John chapter 14 and verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. See that? <laughs> Two-thirds can't receive the spirit of truth, man. Right? So we know this ain't the end all be all. We know that Esau is gonna going to get his issue, man. He's going to receive those things that he has done. You see? It says, Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Right? So, we now have the spirit of truth, man. Okay? It's going to lead to us being comforted, us being um, resu re resolute in, in the things that we're going through and the oppression that we see our people suffering, man. We understand that the Lord is going to destroy Esau, Edom, and take him off the map, man. You see, it says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And how is the Lord coming to us? Through the scriptures, man. Okay? Through the word that we hope in. You see? Let's go back. Psalms chapter 130 and verse 5. I will wait for the Lord, for my soul doeth wait. And in his word do I hope. See that? We hope in the words of Yahweh by Shah Shah. Through the report. All right? It says, My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they that watch for the morning. See that? <laughs> let Israel, see, let Israel hope in the Lord. Who is this Israel our King David is speaking on? Let's talk about the elect, man. There's an Israel, and then there is there there's an Israel of the most high. Remember, we just read that um that the world cannot receive the spirit of truth, which is the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Right? It says, Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And that's what we're hoping for. Not to fall from our hope, to be redeemed, right? He shall redeem Israel, see? He shall redeem Israel from all his iniquity, see? And, and, and eventually, two-thirds are going to receive the benefit of, of the elect being redeemed in the kingdom, man. They're going to be birthed back into power. So those three Jakes that were put to death by Esau and that Dalek general, guess what, man? You're going to get that devil back. But you don't understand the scriptures to have that hope. You see? 
This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 10. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolong of days. See that? The fear of the Lord prolong of days. Two thirds ain't fearing the Lord. Two thirds are, 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 uh, are living in mirth, man, in carelessness. Right? They're not uh, focused on the things that Yahweh by Shah is getting ready to do on the planet Earth. It says, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. And that's why the Lord is shortening the days, man. Things are speeding up. You know? <clears throat> you see? It says, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness. But the expectation of the wicked shall perish. So that new world order that they're trying to set up is going to perish with them, man. But we have hope and gladness. All right, well, we're going to be the next rulers of the planet Earth, man. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming at you with a lesson. Till the next time, say Shalom, DTA, and a Bible ball soon.